you get fissuring and rupturing of that endothelium, blood gets into the vessel wall and then clots. And then the clot, the clot generates more clots, the clot then comes into the uh, lumen, which is what we call the hole through which the blood goes, um, and then that reduces the flow, which makes more clot, and suddenly you go from an artery that was barely affected to completely blocked in a short order of time. And again, a very, um, now then unfortunately, very lovely pathologist um, based at uh, St. George's, uh, Neville, uh, not Neville, um, Dr. Davies, determined uh, when they looked at the hearts of unfortunate people that had a sudden death in the streets of London, that virtually all of them had died because of a clot that had formed acutely in an artery. Now why was that important? That absolutely transformed our treatment of heart attack. When I was, again, blew up years ago, as a student looking after heart attack victims in our hospital, we'd put them to bed, we'd give them some nitrates, we'd give them some morphine, and then get away the pain, but the rest of the time, we you know, just scratched our heads, because we had nothing else we could do. We just waited, and they either recovered, or they didn't. And at that time, um, or certainly even like before my time, the, the mortality rate in hospitals with a heart attack was about 30%. But one in three people didn't survive either. Lucky enough to get to the hospital, even to, one in three um, did not make it. And when Davies and Neville Wolf from, from, from Middlesex found out the clock, then people thought, oh, we've got these wonderful drugs, mostly derived from snake venom, that dissolve clots. What if we gave them? to heart attack victims, and bang, they did. The clot busters came, and it then took about 10 years to then be developed. But the, the, the bottom line is, having developed clot busters, it come in with heart attack, we now gave them a clot buster, bam, the clot was dissolved, flow was restored, and the heart attack mortality went from 30% to 10%. 10% is still a lot, but it's a hell of a lot better than 30%. And then if you were talking then, of half a million people a year are getting to hospital with heart attacks. You're talking, in terms of when the clock buses came, a town the size of Watford living, who wouldn't have lived before. I don't think it's Watford, that's what we want to do there, but you understand what I mean. Very large numbers of individuals survive because of these treatments. And this is what it looks like with an angiogram, the blockage here. Again, this shows a horrible complexity with the plaque here that's ruptured and caused clots. 